Oh yeah, there's a lot of bait here, dude. Holy shit. There is a ton of bait. Oh, oh shit. What's going on? I'm out here in Gansett Bay. So there has been a ton of bait around. And by that, I mean like a school of like a hundred full size pogey strong. And I've been really trying to get bass like with live lining and chunking these fresh pogey. I've been able to snag them on swim shads. There's so many of them. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Got fresh bait on the boat and no luck. And I keep calling it a time bomb because there's not fish on it now, but that much bait is not gonna go untouched for very long. A group of big hungry bass are gonna find that very soon. So I'm out here looking for that bait right now. It is Memorial Day, so there's a lot of boat traffic. But for now, until I see something, some sign of surface activity or some sign of bait, I'm trolling. They got my line behind me. Oh, I haven't started yet. I'm about to start. And uh, hopefully get some stripers, man. There's gotta be at least keeper fish hanging around, if not fish in the 20 pound class at this point. So let's see what we can do. And I am seeing my first sign of activity. We got a group of birds, I don't know, maybe 50 to 70 yards away from me, picking at something. I really, they look like sandpipers, so I have no idea what the heck they're doing, but there's a lot of them. This boat ahead of me is fishing it. I might talk to him and see if he's uh, having any luck chasing these birds. Because he's the only guy on it. I'm curious as to what that is. But I mean, as far as conditions go, man, it doesn't get better than this. This is dead calm, virtually no wind. It's actually pretty hot. I should have wore shorts today, but you know, other than that, life's good. Oh. Just got whacked by something. That's a good sign. Yeah, my rod just went off for like half a second. Definitely didn't hit the bottom. All right, man, there's fish today. There are fish today. Yeah, I'm getting closer to these birds. They are definitely, uh, they're picking at something. I'm not seeing any splashes or anything like that, but they're not doing that for fun. There's some kind of bait there that's making them do that so I think that's my best bet it's gonna get me kind of tucked away from all this boat traffic too everyone in their grandma's out today sadly but that's how it goes on a nice memorial day Jesus yeah like I I honestly I don't feel comfortable like crossing the channel right now because there are so many boats is coming in hot so I'm gonna not do that for the time being and focus on these birds. Oh, I'm seeing fish jump, yup. Just absolutely saw a fish jump. Let's go. All right, when I get a little closer, I'm gonna bring my line in. There's definitely a little blitz going on right now. Hell yeah. All right, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but uh, that was like a good 20 or so birds. A little like, Look like sandpipers, honestly. Well, I definitely saw a fish splash. There's, <laughs> there's something going on, baby. You gotta love a little springtime blitz. But I don't wanna jinx it, could just be bait on here. But I swear I saw a splash, so. The key to rolling up on blitzes is you don't wanna come in like guns hot and just like cruise right over it. As exciting as it can get, you want to like slow up right towards the edge of it. So you can kind of just, you can hit it with the cast, but your boat's not going to go over it. So you don't spook the fish. It's a lot easier with the kayak though. Yeah, these guys, <laughs> these guys have the right idea from the shore. He's wading in like up to his chest. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Fish just jumped, fish just jumped right behind me. Let's go. 
fish literally just jumped right behind me. Oh yeah, there's fish in this area, baby. All right, another blitz has developed. I'm getting close to it. I'm putting in some, some miles today, man. I should get my line up. Oh, there's fish splashing. Yep, I just saw a fish splash. Got that back. Gotta be battling with this boat. But, should be plenty for the both of us. Okay, I'm seeing stuff over here now. I think I'm in it. I'm definitely in it. So some fish are in it. Fish has jumped right there. This is sick. This is sick. There's fish flashing all around me. Oh, little stripers, little stripers. Oh, they're splashing all around me. Holy shit, dude. We got a blitz. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think these fish are smaller. So I'm going with a smaller swim shad. I hope they're not overly picky. Also, I can't tell what the heck they're eating. There we go, hooked up. There's a fish. Just had to downsize a little bit. This is a small fish. A small fish. Just horsed him in. A little striper though. Not bad. Not bad. Hey buddy. There's fish literally splashing all around me. See you, bud. <laughs> oh man, my adrenaline is pumping. That's for sure. I just had to downsize to a small swim shad and he walloped it. Where are you at, fishies? Oh. Big splashes behind me. They gotta be all around me though. This is a fast moving blitz, man. I blink and the fish pushed off like 30 yards. Ah, uh, there's like two pockets. I'm debating which one to hit. Go over here, it's closer. It's gotta be fish on that. It's gotta be. Oh yeah, there's a lot of bait here, dude. Holy shit. There's a ton of bait. Yeah, I'm seeing fish splash. <laughs> Gotta get a little closer. I think I'm right on it. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, it's Mr. Wack. Splashing right in front of me. Oh, holy shit. They are seem to be slightly picky though. Oh, oh holy shit. There we go. Got him. Hooked up, baby. <laughs> Little fish, but you know it's a fun blitz, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. He's just putting up little to no fight. Ah, it's smaller than the first one. Tiny guy, the first one was actually bigger than this. Get this out of him. Healthy looking fish though, man, that's for sure. I think these fish are on really small bait. I'm thinking like some kind of rain bait. 
Maybe some like bay anchovies or something. I think it's too early for sand eels. And when that's the case, they're usually a little harder to hook. I've been having okay luck with a small swim shad, but I think I need to change to some kind of top water. Something small, like a little spook or something. Maybe like even a little poxy jig. Because I've only got two fish and there's a lot of fish around me. But also when they have a lot of bait, they can be picky. Oh, I just tried a bunch of, uh, oh, fish right there. Bunch of topwater stuff. No love. The only thing I can really get these fish on is a really, really small swim shad. I'm lucky I had it in my tackle box. Um, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Stick with this for now. Got fish going right in front of me. Oh, good whack, missed it. Dang, missed that hit. They're still in front of me. They're right in front of me. Fish. All right, here's a little set rep. Uh, that blitz has kind of dissipated. Um, that was definitely just a schooly bass blitz. I, the first fish I caught was like the closest to a keeper and then everything else I was seeing and catching was really small. Uh, that was still a blast though. That's kind of like the first like long lasting springtime blitz I've seen this season. So that really got my heart rate going. But I uh, didn't get too many fish out of that. I think I only got three on the boat. Uh, they were a little picky. Threw a lot at them and you know, only, only got those three, but still better than nothing. Uh, there's still a ton of, I'm not marking it right now, but there's a still a crap ton of bait and fish in the area, even if they're not necessarily breaking the surface. So I'm just gonna keep trolling around and uh, hopefully I can pick up a bigger fish. We'll see, but if not, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already happy with the start of this trip.